that ladies are hard at work in their regular evening practice, not resting on their recent number two showing at the state gymnastics tournament. We get a rundown on some of their workouts. The uneven bars require a great deal of upper, upper body strength as well as timing and rhythm. And most girls do not come into a gymnastics program with this quality. We have to develop that, and it usually takes the longest of all the events to develop. Our girls are strongest on this event because we've done very intensive conditioning training. So they've done very, very well. As they had the highest team score on this event of any of the four events. On the vault, what you have to do is incorporate great speed down the runway and translate that into pushing or repulsion off the horse to get a nice high height and distance flight on the second side. The balance beam incorporates dance skills and tumbling skills. And we saw Tomo demonstrate those skills very nicely in showing her great flexibility. Tomo's outstanding performance on the beam helped her earn first place in the all-around competition at the state meet. This is a group of girls between the ages of 9 and 14, actually. And um, actually, they're doing really well. They're on a track to be very good outfield gymnasts, possibly elite gymnasts one day. Elite is the highest level of gymnastics there is for the United States Gymnastics Federation, which is like going to the Olympics and things of that nature. And they have a desire to be a really good top-level gymnast, which is very rare in, gym in gymnasts nowadays. I started gymnastics when my aunt taught me how to do a cartwheel. From then on, I was hooked. And then my mother enrolled me as soon as we moved to Yonkers. And at that time, I was six years old. My goals in gymnastics are to get a scholarship to Yale College. Well, if hard work and determination are any indication, Jillian ought to make it. And that's it for sports. They're terrific. Aren't